taking vitamin D will cause kidney stones. Listen to find out how you can stop this from happening to you. Welcome to the channel. This is Dylan Richardson, the only vitamin D deficiency channel on YouTube that takes your problems seriously. So in today's age, everyone is talking about, oh, you should be taking vitamin D and everyone is taking vitamin D. Some persons are even taking the wrong source of vitamin D, the wrong type, everything. They just are uneducated about vitamin D. That's where I come in. And I'm just going to plug myself right here. I'm offering consultations now. So the link will be in the description below if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one call with me, helping you with your vitamin D deficiency. Let's get back to the video. So just taking the wrong source of vitamin D or vitamin D in general, you can run the risk of having kidney stones. How? So if you just take vitamin D alone without its different cofactors, you're going to be running into problems. You must first begin with magnesium right here. Magnesium is one of the most important cofactors. Why? Kidney stones are sometimes, the mo actually the most common kidney stone is the calcium oxalate stone. And that happens when there's an increase in calcium inside the blood. When there's an increased amount of calcium inside the blood, that is called hypercalcemia. And that is just a result of you taking vitamin D without their cofactors. So magnesium comes in because magnesium is a calcium inhibitor. What does that mean? Magnesium controls calcium so that it doesn't overstep or overplay its role inside the body. Magnesium keeps calcium in check. Also, magnesium works hand in hand with vitamin D. So if you just started taking vitamin D and you're taking this much, magnesium will start to plummet. And then you're going to run into the risk of having no magnesium, then kidney stones and different other stuff. But this will all be as a result of hypercalcemia. How much magnesium you should take? You should take about 400 milligrams of magnesium per day the magnesium I recommend is magnesium glycinate right here I don't recommend any other if you're taking magnesium oxide why just why the next step to regulate your calcium so you don't end up with kidney stones you must be taking vitamin D with K2 the K2 takes the calcium from inside the blood and put it inside the bone where it belongs so that the calcium doesn't end up in places that it shouldn't be. That's the importance of vitamin K2. Also, this is how much you should be taking daily. If you're looking for the proper version of vitamin K2, it's MK7. That's all I have for you today, folks. Thanks for watching. And again, I'll see you in the next video.